to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Ashanti is back on the program. Wow. Hey. I mean, icon. Icon status. <laughs> That's right. Friend of the program, Ashanti. Uh, you have, uh, I think on your gram, you're coming off of uh, many vacations. You're always, it's always a beach. Birthday. It's always, birthday. Yes. There's always a bikini. There's always a beach. There's Absolutely. always a walk. There's always a... There's always a walk. <laughs> oh, her walking. Her walking oh, the on strut. the beach with the... Oh, man. It's, the full walk. The comments are in shambles. Right. People oh, my God. Themselves. Yo, can I... By the way, can people get used to Sha Ashanti being hot by Absolutely now? Absolutely not. Like... I'm not used to it. I've known a woman 20 years. <laughs> oh, my Yo, God. Yo, people are just, like, constantly impressed by your ability to keep it together. Together. Is that oh, is that what you. it is? I, I don't know. I guess I appreciate it though. You the still enjoy is, it. You I, still feel the validation when you get it. Of course. You know when someone gives you a compliment and you know it feels good. Of course. Uh, I, I hope I find out what that's like one day. <laughs> um, a lot is made of your personal life recently. Your exes they won't let it go. Um, former people you worked with won't let it go. Um, heard about that. Okay, well, let's get this. Let's move this out so we can get to a new video, yes. new song, whatever. Uh huh. What is the problem? I know the problem now mm -hmm. is Irv on Drink Champs. <laughs> Prior to that, though, mm -hmm. why wouldn't Ashanti be in the documentary? Um, I think that once someone goes after you and attacks you and um, intentionally tries to consistently hurt you, at some point, you have to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I just felt like I don't want to put myself in that space in that energy because it was just really really negative you know what i'm saying so and, and so for us as outsiders we mm -hmm. see irv going drink champs right i'm not following it close okay i didn't know the consistently tries to hurt mm -hmm. i didn't know any of this behind the scenes stuff so is there business stuff is that business stuff <laughs> yeah, I, think, personal. I think it's, personal. i think it's a combination of being bitter because of the business and how things happened in his mind you know what I'm saying? After a while, you would assume that a grown man kind of understands what it is and moves on. Got to move on. But I just feel like um, he's not in or he wasn't in a good space. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate. In his I, own personal. In his own personal. You yeah. know, and it's unfortunate because I feel like Murder, Inc., um, deserved an amazing story, an amazing platform for everybody to be a part and everybody, you know what I mean, to just embellish and and celebrate but instead i think um the interview kind of tarnished you know what i'm saying the interview tarnished the drink champs people, interview. right wanted yeah. people wanting to see what was going on because everybody was kind of turned off by it you know what i mean yeah i didn't expect it at all i didn't i didn't know and i know both of you mm -hmm. i had no i like obviously i ain't all in y'all business but i had no idea so when i saw it take that turn i was like is that energy that he, he's always had or is this now because he's drinking and smoking that stuff is coming out, it's or was a, it always there? It's a combination. It was heightened because I think he was trying to get ratings. You know what I'm saying? So it's like get people and get eyeballs for the, the exactly, for the show and for the documentary. Yeah. So it was it was how he feels. That vibe has kind of been there for a long time. You know, since everyone kind of has gone their separate ways. But it was just heightened because he got a platform to promote the doc. You know, and unfortunately, I think it backfired. So. But you, you must have been, at least for you, when you saw it happen, it kind of came out of nowhere that all of a sudden these memes are everywhere. <laughs> Did you at least feel good that it seemed like the public widely was kind of like, that's foul. Why are you bringing this stuff up? Everyone seemed to take your side. A million percent. I felt super, super grateful because, you know, just being a female in this very male dominated industry, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? So when you have someone that you were once loyal to and you, you, you have this foundation of history and amazingness. When you have that person just consistently attacking you, it's like, okay, who who do I align with? You know what I'm saying? So for the public to kind of come to my defense like that, it was a beautiful feeling. It was a beautiful. I, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. Now, how have <laughs> you had a chance to talk to Ja, who was sitting there uh -huh. at the time? Absolutely. And how did that conversation go? It was good. It was good. You know, I felt like I told him, you know, Ja's my brother. I told him, I was like, look, now you know you should have said more earlier. Right. You know what I'm he saying? he was trying to like. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. But me and Ja, we had spoken about the interview coming up a few months before it happened. Right. He called me, yo, Bonnie, I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so we spoke about it. And it's funny. We had a show together like two days after it aired. 
And, um, you know, we hugged it out in a dressing room. He's like, nah, yo, it's, it's crazy. It just took a really bad turn, you know? So we 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 hashed it out, you know? And he posted and all of that, so. You okay. guys, have you, I imagine you and Ja, because of how closely tied together you are mm -hmm. and because of both of your popularity in the songs, mm -hmm. you guys must work together semi-regularly with regard to shows, right? All the time. We were just in Hawaii together. He just bought me a bomb birthday gift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to know, what did Ja Rule buy ja 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 <laughs> for, for your birthday? <laughs> Um, let me see. Are oh, they in she goes it? in no, the Birkin. No. She looks in the Birkin. The I don't Hermes have them Birkin. today, but he got me these fire Louis glasses that I absolutely love. Wow, that's very nice. Thoughtful Ja Rule. Ja Rule, man. <laughs> Great Quality man. Great human. Queens. Um, now, um, I, there's other exes that obviously are having problems dealing with the fact that you still on fire out here. I think <laughs> it would be easier to deal with an ex that was kind of, you know. Not as scorching. Yeah, 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 sure. Of course. You want that you don't didn't want post to a bikini pic literally <laughs> once a month that the like got goes everywhere. Oh how how is that working? Are you single now or are you in a relationship? I am It's complicated? You wanna go with this? Yeah, it's complicated. Okay, let's it's go. It's complicated. Because ah. I there was a relationship, but I wasn't quite sure if that was still Yeah, it a was thing. a yeah. But it's just work and just Time, tough to maintain it it's all. It's tough to maintain it all. You know, there's the love is there and the thought is there, but it's just a lot of moving pieces right now. You know what I mean? So, so it could still get back right with time. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. I don't, I don't want to bring up all I don't things. know who the person no, is. No, but the thing that you were saying about other exes coming out, but did I miss another story that's out there? <laughs> well, there's just constantly, like, in her comments or people bringing up Nelly or bringing oh, up oh, this oh, one oh. or bringing up, you know, I'm more focused on do they text you when you post these photos like <laughs> do they go hey, do i get texts from exes hey, hey big I do. Head, what you doing tonight you got time <laughs> you know like i do i definitely get texts from exes um but what i'm gonna say is this you know i'm a libra i'm i'm diplomatic i'm super for the peace i'm good with being good with everybody you know what i'm saying even in the beginning like i used to send irv white flag emojis like peace i just want it to be peaceful you know so i'm i'm in a space now that i'm cool with everyone you know what i'm saying that's great so, i can tell will you're, there be a convo with irv has he reached out to be like you know what i was wrong or i i, I have no idea no I'm, idea no i'm that ship has sailed. So not you're not even open to dialogue to try to because you don't trust that it'll be genuine, I guess. Um, let me see. If ever someone wants to apologize or feels like they want to apologize or that they should, I'm open to receiving. You know what I mean? As far as anything after that, mm, right. You know. Okay, we can't it'll never be just chill. Right. Like I don't, hanging and being cool. That's all. And that's not on my part. Right. You know? Right. Um now, um, the new single. Mm -hmm. Which is entitled Falling for You um, Is this just one of those Amazing Ashanti Classic Handcrafted R&B jams that your fans love And that people love to get from you And will I the video that's dropping this Friday mm -hmm. uh, Take us on another Thirsty journey <laughs> Watching Ashanti <laughs> will you, At the end of the journey will you feel parched <laughs> Like you need a beverage <laughs> Um, okay, so the first part of the question, yes, I feel like it's definitely an Ashanti record. Um, sonically, I just feel like it's current, it's new, it's 2022. I went in, in, uh, in a studio with Young Blue, nice. and we wrote it together in Vegas Yo, a while ago. he's a great ago. songwriter, right? Yo, he's so dope. Yeah, like, man. I really didn't know what to expect, you know, going in, but Blue is super talented. You know, we have like four records, maybe five records together, and um, it was a really, really dope um, experience. So I feel like with me, I've been a person that kind of tells stories and you can see what's going on when you hear the record. So I just feel like we put a 2022 spin on it. The fact that I could still sell out arenas singing Foolish is like a blessing to me. Right. You know what I mean? And we right. talk about like classic records and records that are dope and hot and then timeless records, you know? So I'm just in a space where I would love to be able to continue to create those records. You know? uh, I want to play the new single. Let's play Foolish since you just brought it up. Why not? Uh, hey. Ashanti's here. A uh, new video. Is there a new album coming? Like, is this a whole rollout? Or because you have just dropped singles recently and just yes. been on some like I'm putting out a record and no, there's so much. I definitely, I'm torn between putting out an EP and then an album or just going right to the album because there's so much music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And obviously the re-recording, I'm doing that as well. So it's about mm. carving out the time 
to really allocate to all three of those ideas. Wait, you're going full Taylor Swift? Re Taylor recording? Swift re-recorded her hits to take control of... Absolutely, I'm re-recording the first album. Wow. I think that's another reason why. God. Yeah, because I, I, I had that down as a note. Like, is this a? That's why I brought up the business part mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. there is a legal skirmish over ownership of things you wrote. Right, right. So after twenty years, you get your, um, you get the rights back to re-record your music. You know, being that I wrote everything, it's just going re-record those records, and now I own that. You know, mm. so it's like you don't want to change too much. No, you want it to feel like it's the same exactly. record. Exactly. You want it to feel like it's the same record, but you want sonically, you know, you have Dolby Atmos. That's you know, right. you want it to That's feel right. clear and not, you know what I'm saying? Those yeah, were yeah. two inches that we were recording right. on. You know right. what I mean? So, but if you me, make it sound too much better, right. you it, don't want it, it to be noticeable exact, to the listener. Exactly. No, there's, there's a way with, there's, there's some great guys out here doing things with spatial audio. Yes. Dolby Atmos. Shout out to Doro. He, yeah, Doro, um, Doro yeah. get you right, no ID. Yes. Mike Dean, they know how to make it feel warm. Or have you, so have you started the process yet? Uh-huh. Is it hard or scary being like, oh, am I going to be able to do these records the same way you know now what? that I always did? So I recorded Foolish in Canada, right? And there's another little business piece to that as well as far as you collecting your royalties and recording outside of the country. Mm. So I recorded Foolish. And when I went in, it's, it's so it was bizarre to me that I was listening to myself. And then listening to the original record just to make sure that it fell in a good space. You mm. know what I mean? So I I don't know if I want to say scary, but over-the-top perfectionist. You know what I mean? You don't want to mess up. Well, right. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's different when it's already a hit. Right. Like, the first time, you didn't know what you had. <laughs> exactly. Now you're like, this has to be as good. Exactly. Exactly. Well, so, you want to keep that feeling. You yeah. Keep that feeling. Yes, you want to keep the feeling a million percent. I, so it's it, it, the, the people that own... Because I'm sure it's not just Irv that are owning the mm -hmm. older. None of those people want to negotiate? Um, <clears throat> I think Def Jam slash Universal, because it's, it's a weird transition that happened with Murder, Inc., Def Jam, Universal, Motown. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I personally think a good portion would be willing to sit down and have this conversation. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think Irv kind of said where he stands. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So... I don't want to waste the time. Are you comfortable with your sort of iconic status? I, it honestly didn't. It crept up on me because we're around <laughs> the same age. So, like, mm -hmm. I watched your ascent as a DJ, <laughs> like, getting the records. And mm -hmm. and then I, I my fiancé is younger than me mm -hmm. from Queens and adores you. Like, she, she just hit me when I – she's tight because I she should have come up here. <laughs> but she said, yo, she's a big part of my upbringing, a true trendsetter. Aww. We all did the side ponytail <laughs> like that. Side ponytail. <laughs> like, oh, are, my God. I you, love that. Are you comfortable? Like, do you accept that you are, like, that sort of real, like – because people throw legend and it can feel kind of right, weird. Right, But do you accept it and do you enjoy it? Um – I mean, y'all know me. I'm super humble. So when words like that are thrown around, it's like it makes me feel good and I'm super appreciative, but I feel like it is a lot. You know, that's a big deal. Like, that's a big thing, you know? So I, I humbly accept it. You know? <laughs> Perfectly said. <laughs> what is uh, the balance for you f as a woman mm -hmm. and the businesswoman? Balancing personal life and work life. You're filming movies. I mm -hmm. think you just, didn't you tell me you just finished the movie? Yeah, I was in Canada. I shot, we were there for a month and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. um, songwriter. Mm -hmm. Traveling and touring, right? Like, even as I'm listing it, I'm seeing you get tired. Your eyes are literally <laughs> going, yes, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, but what is that, like, on a personal level for the fans and people who just think it's all, you know, uh, you know, Swanking across beaches and you know frolicking on nah, islands, right? Let me like, tell you what something. Is the balance? It is much deserved for me because the way that my career is set up and what's happening in God's divine timing of everything right now, you have to like I'm working so hard. You have to balance it off, and I gotta jump off a yacht on a weekend. You know what I'm saying? I have to be on the beach somewhere just to stay sane. 
because there's so much effort going into the work, mm. you know, and then you don't want to turn into like a vegetable where it's just, you know, blinders. So I still have to be me and be vivacious and have fun and, you know, have 20 people come out and celebrate mm. with me. But after, after that, then it's back to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. Like the film that we shot, we were supposed to get allotted like 31 days. We shot it in 20 days, which means there were 19 hour days. And I was filming doing shows on the weekend, which was carved out That's of my wild. contract, and recording on set. You know what I'm saying? I had the mic brought to my trailer. So I was writing, memorizing my lines, getting outfits so I can do the shows on the weekend. Come, like, it was a lot. You but know what also, I mean? it's really smart of you because you know it's not your first rodeo that you're going to be sitting in your trailer all day long. Absolutely. So why not be able to work? Absolutely. The hurry up and wait. Right. Oh, it's the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> hurry up and wait Yo, business. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah. um, what other co what's some of your favorite classics to perform with Ja? Well, I mean, y'all got some heat, but what's some yeah. of your, what's your favorite? I would say I'm torn between mesmerized and probably always on time. Those are always our biggest crowd. The exactly. Crowd crazy. You know, we when we when we do our shows together, we open with mesmerized and like those screams on the open is crazy. You know, and I think people just like to see us together. You know, like yes, chemistry. it's a it, it, it <laughs> pops the crowd to just like the the nostalgia of mm -hmm. the two of you together feels good. And uh, you know, God willing, this lasts for a very long time. Y'all look the same, <laughs> so you see them come out. Right. You're like, oh my God, I'm not that old. Look at y'all rolling the shot too. Look great. <laughs> We're doing yes, all right. Yes, absolutely. Super grateful for that. Do for you, sure. uh, Ibra? Do you remember my hilarious Ashanti story that she probably doesn't remember? Uh -oh. I don't. Um, okay, I hope it doesn't embarrass you. Because you do get a <laughs> congratulations, you played yourself in it. Oh, God. But it's not bad. It's not a bad <laughs> one, but it's a funny one. Okay. So there was a legendary night. There's actually a documentary that just came out about it uh -huh. called 38 at the Garden. Okay. About the night Jeremy Lin Play, oh, went up against Kobe Bryant at MSG. Uh -oh. That night, the singer of the national anthem was Ashanti. Okay. Do you recall this, Ashanti? A little bit. What happened? So she sung the national anthem. Uh -huh. I was there with a friend who worked at MSG who said, yo, I don't have tickets, but you could come hang out. And I'm like, it's the middle of Lynn Sanity. So I'm like, you gotta see it. oh I'm my God, see I got to see it. It's versus Kobe. This is amazing. So I'm just hanging out with no seat. All of a sudden, someone comes up to us and goes, yo, you guys want to sit in these front row seats? And we're like, what? Yes. <laughs> How they were like, they were for a sh no, no, they weren't front, they were second row. Okay. Sorry, they were second row. They went, Well, they were for Ashanti, but she didn't want to sit in the second row. And she <laughs> left. <laughs> she like, nah, yeah, I put me second row. I got me on the wood. <laughs> I was like, Yes, please. Oh Ashanti God. was like, so, <laughs> here. so, so just to be clear, but it gets better. Yeah. So I took in the first half of that legendary game from the second <laughs> row, and I was tickled, right? It's They're lighting it up. Lynn's hitting, Kobe's hitting, game's popping. Halftime comes. The guy comes up to me and goes, she changed her mind. She wants to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game was on fire. She was like, wait, hold up. Oh, my went, God. Hey, listen, in the end, you made the right choice because you had to be <laughs> I was legend. I was I legendary. I had to go see. Yes. Oh so you're tied God. into one of my favorite sports nights. Thank you very see? much. I, I appreciate it. And you were generous. You gave me second <laughs> round. You had your moment. You had your moment. Oh, she was like, all right, bro, you got to be. You got to go. You got to go. Um, talk to me about this book tour and, or, or the book and mm -hmm. then, you know, uh, and the whole tour that you have coming up too. So I'm super excited. I just released my first children's book. It's called My Name is a Story. I need that for um, Issa. Yes, I got you one for Issa. Yeah. It's so cute. Wow. And um, I wanted to do it. I always wanted to write a children's book. I used to work at a daycare center when I was in high school. Oh, wow. So when I would sit them down and read a story, it was just crazy to me to see how it transcended and how they were just so intrigued, you know, mm. by just reading. So I always said I wanted to write a book. And um, with my name being so unique, 
I used to have issues growing mm. up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. And sometimes it was hard oh. for the teacher to pronounce my name or some of the kids. Yeah. If your name wasn't Susan. That's or... right. They get to your name in the roll call. They pause. You know exactly. it's you. You raise your hand like, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Same, so I, I wanted to do something that kind of encouraged kids to love the fact that they have a unique name and love the fact that it's cool to be different and all the other kids to accept it. You know, it's cool to have a friend that might have a unique name. That's just right. because it's not Jessica doesn't mean it's not cool. Well, like you know? Issa, Issa, they'll be like Isha, and right. she'll be like, no, Issa. Exactly. Or they'll go Lisa. She'll go, <laughs> it's just what was what was it for you? How'd they get it wrong? The way that they would pronounce it, it would sometimes be Ash and I, Ash and Ash and I, right? And then the the infamous that I hate, Ashante. I hate that with a passion. Oh my gosh. Everything with a passion. Your, your mom. So, yeah, dude, she's mom emphasizing. Is, like, she Ugh. corrects people all the time. Oh my now, gosh. Yo, now, and on your name, have you had a chance to go to Ghana yet? You know what's crazy? And go I was to the supposed, Ashanti Kingdom. I'm, I was supposed to go there like three years ago, but I broke my ankle. And I was oh, still ready to go. I was like, I can make it on the plane. Well, that but that was the return, uh, uh, the year of return when we was uh, mad. I, yo, that's so when I went. So many people. Yo, I was Matt, I went. devastated. I was devastated. But I think we are going back December, I want to say. This year? Yes. I'm going. You going? Yeah, I'm only there for a couple days. I don't get to stay there long. But you got to, you definitely fly into Accra and then you have to fly up to the north to the Ashanti yes, Kingdom. Yes, they want to do like a presentation. Oh, no, like go. it's so dope. I want to go so bad. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. The so. whole thing. And, I, and there's some people uh, I want to I want to hook you up with the Ghanaian Board of Tourism too. Yes. Like they listen the Ashanti Kingdom that is would beautiful. That'll be amazing. It's a, the people are amazing. They will it, it's yes, it'll be I big. love it. It'll be huge. Love huge that. for the, huge for the country. No, this book's amazing. This book is copy. so this is so oh, wow, cute. Look at you on the back. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so cute, and what a great idea. There's so many people who will identify with this. Yeah, and when I did, I did a signing at Essence, and it was crazy because obviously it was way more adults. They were coming to me with the stories like, girl, you don't understand. When I was in school, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it really resonated with adults, you know, of which course. is a blessing. So. That's amazing. Well, and also a lot of kids, it's always, I remember I wanted my name to be something. Somebody used to cry. Oh, I my God. And, um... But it builds character. Uh huh. That's the piece about it. A, it builds character, and B, it ties you into culture. Yes. It ties you into culture and respect for culture. Woman of strength. Mm -hmm. There it is. My mom's in the building. If y'all don't see, her I mean, family. come on. You already know it doesn't end. <laughs> and, uh, mom is here. Momager is here. Yeah, they're not breaking up. <laughs> yo, yo, speaking of, you know, the momager thing, um, you know, doesn't always go as well as it went for y'all. Right. Definitely Absolutely. Not. There's people out here who try to have their parents involved in their career, and it definitely went left. Mm -hmm. You guys have and what's the what's the story? I'm sure you. It's not all like y'all ain't never had static before, but of course. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we don't even have paperwork. You know what I mean? So with my mom, we're more of a team. We're more friends. My mom is my best friend. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine not having the love and the support. Nobody's going to go to bat for you like right. your mom. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because everyone respects my mom, but like dudes like my mom too. It's ridiculous. But it's like the respect. Is, oh my gosh. You have no Yo, idea. I'm playing stupid, <laughs> but I seen it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I seen it. They the be respect. like, yeah, yeah, that's Ashanti. Yo, yeah, mom. where's her mom? <laughs> exactly. Mom's that up? happens. It happens so much. But um, just the love and the passion, you need that in this industry, especially right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to worry about my mom stealing from me. I don't have to worry about, you know, her not having my best interests at heart. And it's, it's really a crazy, evil, evil industry. I've heard the most... Disgusting story. So I'm grateful, you know, that me and my now, mom have our bond. Does she come to everything? Like every show? Like if there's any gig anywhere, is she there? Like like a straight up day to day manager? Absolutely. Absolutely. Where she does not come is on dates. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. That line it has been drawn. Glad. <laughs> if you were wondering. If you were wondering. If you were wondering. Right. Okay. But yeah, you know, um, and it's crazy because she's not. But she is like a phone a... call away. So is dad. So if a date does go down, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You start acting wow. She's a favorite. She's a favorite in the phone. One button. <laughs> but um, you know the the support is is what's much needed. And it's like my mom. She's like a cool mom. She's not like you know. Yeah, she ain't. People smoke weed. They curse. You know what I'm saying. Mom is like she's like the OG. So. That's no amazing. one feels like uncomfortable. The respect is there. Right, but right. But no right. one feels like uncomfortable. Like hide from mom. Right. Right, right, right. Exactly. Right. I've been in a studio with, you know, baby and money bag. And, you know, everyone's super respectful. Oh, your mama's here. Uh, 
is it okay if I, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right, that's right, right. there, but she's like, oh, I don't care, you know? Right, so right, right. She's, seen, she's seen some things. Yeah. She's seen some things. Uh, you guys, Ashanti's got a book, she's got a tour, she's got a new single, let's play the single again. We love you for coming by. Thank, Thank you. Great you. to see you. Thank you. You too. I Long you Island. That, you left that Birkin bag on display. You wanted these bitches to know what was going on out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what Little mean? birthday gift, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, wait, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? You, got, you get a star, star on the Walk of Fame? You already got your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? They gave star. you a ring. They I got a custom ring. Mama Ja bought me a custom uh, ring for the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Wow. Bam. Congratulations on that. Damn, you. and happy belated. Thank you, thank you so Ashanti, much. Ashanti, give it up one more time. <laughs> there you go.